There are many devices that you could purchase now to stream TV and media directly onto your television. But which ones are best, have the coolest features, and maybe even the best price? Joining us now to tell us more about streaming services is our tech expert, Nika Allen, to answer all those questions for That's us. That's right. Good morning, Nika. Good morning. All right, so before we get into what's best, if someone has no idea what streaming means, what is that? So streaming media is really... A something that gives people an alternative way to view any media content, your favorite movies, TV shows, over the internet, and at any time that you want. Okay, okay. great. So what are kind of the three most popular TV streaming devices? Right now, the most popular ones we have kind of are Apple TV, mm -hmm. Roku. Roku has four, but I'm specifically talking about the Roku 3 today. Okay. Okay. And then Google Chromecast, which I actually brought one today, so okay. you guys can check it out. Okay, Whoa, so that's it? This yeah, tiny little thing? Exactly. Wow. And so all these devices are connected to the internet and t to your TV. You can mm -hmm. see this one plugs just right in. Mm -hmm. And then you get to choose your favorite subscriptions like Hulu Plus, Netflix. Some are free like YouTube and mm -hmm. some you have to pay for. Sure. Can I okay. see this? Yeah. So break this down some so of cool the differences. Now at, at home, I use Apple TV at home okay. primarily because I'm an Apple guy. I love my Apple products, <laughs> syncs to my iTunes, which is a huge thing. Mm -hmm. yep. So let's talk about some of the differences between the three and why someone might want to go with the Chromecast over Apple TV or Roku. Definitely. So first of all, Apple TV, just like you said, it's really in the Apple ecosystem. Mm -hmm. So if you are a big Apple fan and you have all the Apple products, this is a great one for you. It connects easily with you know, all of your devices. You can basically stream content from any of your iOS devices directly mm -hmm. onto your TV. And you know, it has iTunes and things like that. So it's got everything in there. You can play your music. You can you know, watch movies, TV, mm -hmm. live sports, things like that. And they're running about $100 right now. Okay. Okay, $100. All right, next we're going to talk Roku. Yes. So okay. the Roku actually is one won a CNET Editor's Choice Award. Really? This one's pretty big. It has over a thousand channels and wow. it has games. It has tons of fun stuff on it. And it definitely actually beats the Apple TV on content. It has mm -hmm. way more content. Okay. It has access to the Amazon Instant Video Store, which Apple TV does not. Right. Well, but we it just doesn't. About that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But it doesn't have access to iTunes. Right. Okay. So you know, there's a give and take. And um, this works better with some of your, you know, Android devices, mm -hmm. other PC computers, things like that. So it depends what you're using at home or, oh, you know, okay. how you want to so use it. So if you're using system. more PCs and you're in the PC ecosystem, yeah. the Roku might be the way to it go. It might be the way to and go. And how much does that one run? That one's also about $100 for oh, okay. the Roku 3. Mm -hmm. But they have four products that range anywhere from... Fifty to one hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Is it the processor so, and the amount of content that differs the four pieces? Yeah. So something like um, you know Chrome, the Chromecast. Mm -hmm. They also have Roku has one like this. So it's a little bit okay. has less of a TV interface stuff like that. Okay. Got so it. just a simpler device. Okay. okay. Well then let's talk about that one. Yeah. So this is the Google Chromecast. Super easy, really simple, tiny as you can see, yeah. and it's actually only thirty-five dollars. So really? it's a really great buy if you are kind of trying this whole streaming world out. Mm -hmm. Okay. It doesn't have its own TV interface, but you can control it using your phone or your tablet, and wow. then mirror whatever you're looking at onto your TV. Oh, oh really? So you can okay. see everything just so, like that. So, so it's really, the control simple. and interface is on your mobile device, and exactly. then it streams to your exactly. Your so that's basically what this does. It also gives you the ability to use a lot of the big apps. It doesn't have all of them right now, mm -hmm. but you know you have your big ones, Hulu Plus, Netflix, stuff like that on there gotcha. too. Okay, okay. Yeah, probably yeah. right hmm. now the most popular. And it seems that that those smaller subscriptions. So if you want HGTV or you want History, you can start finding those on like the Roku and the and the iTunes. So you can start selecting a little bit more content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. But, you know, anything that you can get on the internet, pretty much, you know, it's, it's flexible. So yeah. Yeah. it's easy to get a lot of things nowadays. So. Fantastic. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks for demystifying all of this. Yeah, so yeah. hopefully it helps you folks at home if you've been thinking about which one to get. That breaks it down for you. So for a recap on this and more information on Nika and Nika TV, head over to Casa.com. We will have links there. Nika, thanks so much for coming in. Thank, Thank you. you. All right.